You need to figure out a way to put this on like your shoulder or something. <laughs> I could do that. No, that's not gonna work. All right, well, I'm just gonna have to do it this way then. God damn it. <laughs> So I'm on break. Have another massive headache, so I'm gonna pet my eyebrows once more. It's a placebo, the petting of the eyebrows. Anyway, I may look tiny though I carry 800 some pounds and nothing but emotion. Probably should keep dragging around though, it's not as if I could change all that given that. Just what I am, I'm a total quack quack. and you think, man, this is artistic. Never cry so much and you think, hey man, what do I get? A parade, a banner, maybe a t-shirt that reads the saddest person that's ever lived. I should receive something. Why don't you give me something? I'm just asking for something. Some acknowledgement, some validation. You know, um, when I went to the psych ward, the lady, I did my first interview, and that's what I called them, interviews. And I just jumped up in my seat, and I couldn't wait to talk about myself and all the things that I've been through mentally. And she said, congratulations for not killing yourself for 31 years. I know that's gotta be rough. And I believe that I went there all for that sentence that she so freely gave to me. <laughs> like, I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting for somebody just to acknowledge that. Like, hey man, good for you for, you know, keep fighting a good fight, you know? Good for you for making it. Good for you for, you know, not selfishly taking your own life like a total cunt. <laughs> responsible for synthesizer sounds. That would be so adorable. Oh, could you just see that? Unless they were like trapped in there. They were like, meow, meow. Get me out of the synthesizer. <laughs> hmm. There was that other one they were playing that was pretty good. Don't you wish that you were just as easily amused as me and then you wouldn't have to have a smartphone. Don't you wish that you could make all the conversations in your head just as real as the real conversations that you have with the real people that are such a disappointment, such a disappointment, such a disappointment. on my break, which means I got a lot of shit that I can say, but I probably won't say much of it, I'll probably just talk about masturbation again, masturbation again, masturbation again, masturbation again. So, uh, one of my coworkers, <laughs> he's a prankster, like his whole YouTube channel is all about pulling pranks on people, right? So that boy doesn't have a conscience whatsoever, he's a total sociopath, but at least... See, with, with every, like, potential problem, uh, psychological issue, why do you always assume that somebody has some sort of psychological problem? Like, maybe he's just a kid. Maybe he just doesn't care about shit, you know? That doesn't mean that, like, he's crazy. I just, I don't know. 
Kathy Griffin has a joke, and I know you weren't expecting me to quote Kathy Griffin, but uh, okay. <laughs> She's fun. She's fun to do an impression of. Um, I just relate to her a lot. Anyway, she uh, she was talking about how she <laughs> she always thinks that people are gayer than they really are. Like I feel that way about uh, being crazy. Like I just always assume that people are crazier than they're letting on they just have no idea and they haven't been through the right therapy and you know they haven't had the right shrink to uh, appropriately diagnose them with something other than bipolar um but uh yeah so uh anyway this kid that I think is a sociopath he came up to me and I asked him I hadn't seen him in a while because I thought he got fired he's like no I got suspended and I was like, what'd you get suspended for? And he's like, having sex in the back. <laughs> and what's funny about that is the fact that I've actually masturbated in the back. Like, the break room, whatever that. So like, I, I mean, I didn't say anything, but I was like, man, like you were joking, but I'm not ever. I should probably talk about something other than touching myself. Maybe I should talk about something other than racism. Maybe I should talk about something other than poop. But I love to poop. Let's talk about shitty food. Shitty food. There's nothing more degrading, demeaning, humiliating than being stared down by a total fat ass who wants to blame you for all the terrible life decisions. You know, like, all the decisions in your life has led you to the point where you are sitting in a drive through for 15 minutes. And you have the audacity to get mad at me about it, as if I was holding a gun to your head keeping you here. No, I got too much shit I gotta do in here. Can't you see? Can't you see while you're too busy? Staring, 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 glaring, glaring, glaring. My biggest pet peeve is when people stare at me for no reason. I, I don't really understand. I'm always thinking, is there some shit on my face? I always think that there's like toilet paper hanging out of my ass and then I remember that I have pants on. So how is that possible? How could they see that? How could they see through my pants? I think about things that a lot of people don't think about, or maybe I think about things that other people think about but they don't say out loud. This is so catchy. You could add something to that. That sounds bad. <laughs> you know, the whole idea of just hit any note, it'll be fine. <laughs> it's very similar. Shit. I don't know what the fuck that motherfucker just hit in the drive thru. Sounds like he's running over a bunch of shit all at once. Anyway. What are you talking about? Fat asses? Fire up asses? Yeah, they just fucking stare at me. They'll just be like... That is like the classic like restaurant look. Like if you eat at a shitty restaurant, you're probably a horrible person. And you go in there and like, unless you're nice. You're not a horrible person as long as you're nice, okay? But there's so many people that come through that are fucking mean. They're so fucking mean. And like, I don't understand how they think that they have the right to be mean to me just because like, they're the customer. Fuck that. Oh, I'm just doing a song. Yeah. It is cool. It's so cool. The manager asked me, what you working on? 
myself, always myself. <laughs> a lot of people ask me this. What are you studying? You're in school? You in school? The school of me. <laughs> Constantly studying myself. I should have at least 15 degrees in me by now. It's 32 years almost of studying. time I'm supposed to go back and I'm sure that they'll tell me because I'll still be out here playing music. If that's what you call it. At least the passion's there and people are aware they can see it, they can see it. You know how many shitty songs are famous? Do you know many shitty movies make bank at the box office? It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. People that actually give a shit are trampled by people that don't. Or maybe they just give a different kind of shit. One that I refuse to give. This lighting is bad, Amy. Well, yeah, because it's turning into the dusk. I love my fucking lips. Sometimes I do believe in God and it's all because of my lips. <laughs> that is so narcissistic, baby. That is so... I wonder if you could... Oh my God, why haven't I done this before? Jesus. Yeah, well. I think you know why. <laughs> Your driving is so terrible, man. Steak and Shake, because it was the only place that I wouldn't break so easily. And I don't know why. Yeah, you do. Chaos and excitement gets me off. I used to run that drive through like nobody's business. And it's like, the less work I have to do, the harder it is for me. That's why I have to give myself so many things to do in order to be productive, you know? It's like if I had just one laundry load, laundry, one laundry. If I just had one load of laundry to do, this is what would happen. I would put it off and put it off and put it off and put it off, you know? And then like, right before I'm supposed to go to bed, I'll be like, oh, fuck, I gotta wash these clothes, you know? Like, that's how I operate on a regular basis. So, like, if I, like, give myself, say I have, like, five loads of laundry, that'll be so much easier for me to accomplish that shit, you know? Because, like, it's just the more I have to do, the better it is for me. And it's interesting, like, the more my mind wanders, and I feel like the more I can accomplish, multitasking. It's just Steak and Shake taught me that. If I do a little here, do a little over there. Do a load of laundry, then uh, wash some dishes, and then wash myself. Wash myself, maybe do a little masturbating too. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> maybe watch a movie, maybe write a song, maybe clean up my room, maybe uh, clean up the hallway, maybe clean up my car, maybe clean up the kitchen a little more, just a little bit more. I write down these lists, and I'm finally starting to cross shit off. But it's better. To be. You can only hope for that. You get a little more self aware to the point that you can help yourself with all that self awareness. Or you could just be stuck at home. All alone. Analyzing. Scrutinizing. 
gymnasium. Idealizing. Demonizing. Never compromising. What I want. This is an interesting angle. It's like, you don't even know where the fuck you are. <laughs> I think I have like eight more minutes until I have to go back inside. See, if this goes viral and I put up what I want to put up, I probably won't be able to work here anymore. Because like I said before, there's footage of me masturbating in the break room. <laughs> this is the break room, right? <laughs> Do you guys not masturbate in the break room too? Fuck, you can kill her, I'm really missing out. Yeah, it's dusk, man, it's dusk. This lighting is going to be bad. You know, one of the few good things about the state of Tennessee is how pretty the sunsets are. Like, we actually have pink sky. Also the fucking hills and you know, they're nice. <laughs> yeah, they just need to leave the trees up. They need to stop chopping them down just so they can make more houses and corporations and schools where they don't teach anybody shit. Anyway. Meow, 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 meow. You guys like my mustache? I love it. So many women are ashamed of these things that make them masculine, but I'm not. That's what makes my comedy so fucking good. Because I'm not afraid to talk about the stuff that most women are afraid to talk about. Like poop. Poop and masturbating. It's ridiculous. Like women don't masturbate, women don't take a shit. Women don't pick their nose and have gross stuff that happens to their bodies that we can talk about and, you know, it's like there are so many stories that men can say and are like really, really funny and we laugh and we're like, oh yeah, that sucks. That sucks for you that you spent three weeks eating nothing but cheese pizza and then you had a whole block of shit that you had to go to the hospital to get out of your system. You know, like this guy, it was the first time that he'd ever done stand up and he just told the, the most like horrific story about how he uh, had a whole fucking shit block and he was in tears. I mean, it was, it was like a painful story. Like my asshole hurt listening to the story. And I just thought to myself, like if a woman ever did that, it wouldn't like be okay. Like people wouldn't laugh about it, you know? And that's stupid because it's still the same material. Um, he won the $25 bar tab, you remember that? Yeah, he did. Well, he deserved it, that block of shit. I mean, it's not like it had just happened or anything, like he'd just come out of the hospital and... Um, but it was a pretty funny story, though. I'm like, fuck, like, if that kind of thing happened to me, like, I would totally talk about it. I would talk about it over and over again. Just be like, yeah, this fucking happened, man. Shit block, shit block. Um, Like, sometimes I'll go into the restroom and there'll be, like, what looks like a shoe in the toilet, but it's just poop. It's like a giant poop shoe, like a poop boot or some, something like that. Um, <laughs> I can't believe we're talking about this shit. Literally. I love it when I can use that word appropriately and it makes sense. Anyway. I think it's about time to eat that, uh, cookie. <gasps> yeah, it is. It totally is. Oh my goodness. I'm really excited now. Okay. Well, I gotta